This application was built using some basic SQL actions in ProServer EX. For more details about how to configure these actions, check out App Notes 1203 and 1204 on our ProFace America site. In this video, we will be looking at how data logged to SQL in this way can be used to generate reports using Excel. This combines the strength of SQL as a solid database with Excel's ability to quickly and easily generate professional reports. This WinGP HMI application simulates a workflow where an operator starts by retrieving product data from a SQL database using a barcode input from a work order sheet. The barcode is sent as a SQL query to retrieve the work order. The operator starts production by pressing this button. The ideal production rate is set as a target for the run rate of the machine. We can use this button to simulate rejected parts to reduce the machine's quality rating. And we can simulate unplanned downtime to reduce the machine's availability. As a result, our overall equipment effectiveness is reduced to less than 90%. And finally, we end the shift, triggering the logging of production data to the SQL database. Let's take a look at how the production data is stored in SQL. In this example, we're using SQL Server Express 2008 Management Studio. This is the production log table in a database called WinGP Recipe, and we hit Execute to update the view. Here you can see the new record added from the latest production shift. All Microsoft Visual Studio software has some kind of tool to allow you to configure and view the SQL database. Now we can create an Excel report from the production data stored in SQL. In the new Excel book, make a new connection to the SQL Server database. The login credentials, etc. only need to be set up once and are stored in the Excel book. Browse to select the database and table or view that you need. You can load the data as a table or a pivot table in a worksheet. This is the latest production record stored by ProServer EX into SQL. While the Excel book is open, you can refresh or update from the SQL database automatically or manually. Once the data is loaded into Excel, it behaves just like any other table and reports can be generated, usually on separate worksheets. You can use the Excel auto filter on the table and select sort or filter options as needed. The advantage with this method is that all of the data in the SQL table is loaded in the Excel book ready to be used in reports. The disadvantage is that if the SQL table contains a lot of data, the Excel file size will also be large. The file size and much of the filtering can be reduced by querying the database and only loading the data you need. To change the data selection from the SQL database, just edit the connection properties. For example, you can change the connection type to SQL instead of table. Then you can replace the table definition with any valid SQL query.
for example, select only production records where the total is greater than 1000. Or where the number of bad parts is greater than 10. Only data matching the SQL query is loaded into Excel, which will result in smaller report files.